Hello there and welcome to Linux Chess 2 and this video is really special. So if you use command line then one thing you really find very painful is the cd command. So when you have to navigate from one directory to another directory navigate through the folders and files then you will find this really cumbersome. I mean it literally makes me sick to use this command again and again to go back and forth. So this video puts end to that pain because in this video I'm gonna introduce the CDIR and this little tool is going to revolutionize the user experience of this command line navigation. So let's see how to install this tool and how to use it. So to install the tool you have to have python 3 and pip 3 so python 3 is probably installed in your system and pip 3 is the package manager for python so you can use your regular installation command to install both of these utilities so use sudo apt install for debian ubuntu and any of their derivatives so just use sudo apt install python 3 and python 3 pip and if you use any RPM based distribution like Fedora, CentOS, Red Hat, then you can use sudo dnf install and python3 and python3 pip. For Arc, you can use your Pacman. For OpenSUSHA, you can use Chipper. So it really doesn't matter because the installation command is going to be the same. And if you do not know, then do not worry because I'm going to provide the link in the description that will show you how to install in your particular distribution. So just hit the enter, type in your password and this will install both of the tools. I already have the tools that is why it is saying you already have it. After getting these two tools, what you can do, you can install the CDIR package using the pip3 command. So for that, just type pip3 and this is going to be the same for all the distribution. pip3 then install and CDIR. So this is gonna search in the python package directory and install the tool in your distribution but here is a warning that we are getting they are saying the script cd ir cli is installed in this particular location but it's not available in the path so we have to set the path ourselves manually and this little thing can be resolved by few lines of code if the developer just added those code in the tool and i wonder why the developer has not done that so the tool is available in here so what we are going to do, we are going to navigate to this particular location. So for that, just type cd and uh, control shift p hit enter, again hit the ls. Here we can see we have this uh, script here and this script here. So we have to add these two scripts in the pass rc file. So for that, just type uh, nano and uh, specify the part to the file and just type tilde sign slash dot bash rc. So this is a file where you can add some kind of configuration later stuff just hit enter and uh, just go at the end of this file we don't, do not want to modify any of these changes and at the end of the file just type oh, alias then type oh, cdir because we want to use that tool equals to colon sign then specify the path of that uh, tool so here what we have to do is we have to source that tool first so just type source so this will basically include it in the pass and we can paste that part that we had copied earlier so here we just have to specify that file name which was cdir.sh then we also have to make another alias and we are going to type here cdir equal to sign colon colon again we have to type the path of the folder and the tool name that is cdir underscore cli so we have to do these aliases so just hit ctrl o and hit enter and hit ctrl x to exit from the file now if you type alias then you will see these two lines here written okay the lines are not available because we have to source it so for that just type source and uh, tilde sign slash then bash rc hit enter again then again type alias and you should see these two lines here this one and this one so we have added these two lines now if i clear the terminal and if i type uh, cdir so here i can use my arrow key to navigate to different folders i can also go to the files here and i can simply navigate through the files so for example i want to go into the dropbox folder i can go in the dropbox folder and here i can simply go to time folder and i can go to the files that i have here i can use the arrow key again go to back back again 
and here I can also search for any particular directory for example I am not able to find a directory called node then I can simply search for node and this will show me that particular directory I can hit the directory and it will navigate to the directory I can use F1 to quit from this application and this will CD to that particular location where I was earlier so this is a pretty cool tool to navigate from one folder to another and to check out the files and to search for any particular folder so this is the tool and uh, you can use it you can install it using the pip3 so that was it about this particular revolutionary tool for navigating in the command line so i hope you find this video helpful if you did then do not forget to subscribe to the channel let me know what you think about it in the comment section below and i'll still catch you in the next one till then take care and keep enjoying linux